Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fahl and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for February 22nd, 2016. Today we have a split in energies. We start our day, if you're in Central Europe, with a moon that is void of course and is going to remain that way until about 1300 hours. That's about 600 hours way up in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Then it would go into Virgo and bring those energies back. We can feel that there are high energies in the air from the morning because we are walking towards a full moon this evening. But there's something missing there and we should be patient until noontime. Central Europe or America, it would be already in your early morning so there's no problem about it. And from the noontime onwards, and America from your early morning times onwards, we could really have the vigor and incentive to take care of all the minute details in our life and to take our life forward. If we're talking about um, understanding the right uh, answers and the right decisions we need to uh, imply in our lives to live a healthier, better lives, anything that is health related as well, health related decisions, today is the day to really implement those decisions. And I want you to think if you want to understand the energy of this full moon in Virgo, you have to imagine, let's say, an uh, ant's hive. And imagine how the ants working together are really so much wonderful and so much stronger and wondrous than an ant alone. And imagine how the ant hive would operate if every ant would not know its exact position and things that it needs to do. It's about understanding what we need to do in our life and what we need to live for others to do in their lives or for the universe to do. It's about taking care of our own garden and starting to cultivate it. It will give us the energy to deal with work in general and to really adapt better ways both in our personal lives and our work environments. Jupiter in Virgo is in opposition to Chiron exactly tomorrow and we talked about it a few weeks ago. This is a time we have great expectations from ourselves, from, Peter, from people in our surroundings, from humanity in general and not uh, and, and more than a few disappointments and these disappointments are going to provide the cement for the columns of the building that we aim to build understanding that we really have no other way to operate so thank you for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow bye bye